Hi, I'm Kier Morris, a graduate student at California Botanic Garden, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Penstemons, which are also sometimes called beard tongues. Penstemon is a genus of perennial herbs that are endemic to North America. That means that North America is the only place on Earth they naturally occur. Of all the genera of flowering plants that are endemic to North America, Penstemon is the largest, having around 250 species. There are over 50 species of Penstemon that occur in California, we have 14 of those at California Botanic Garden. One of my favorite things about Penstemon is that they are sometimes called beard tongues. It's hard not to take delight in such a silly name. So why are they called beard tongues? This is why. This hairy tongue-like structure sticking out of the mouth of the flower of Palmer's Penstemon is called a staminode, which is essentially a special stamen that does not produce pollen. Despite often being called beard tongues, this tongue is not hairy in many of the Penstemon species. These tongues don't have a specific purpose across all penstemons, but it's believed that they may help increase pollen transfer between plants in some of the species. While we have 14 species of penstemon in the garden, finding some of them takes some searching. There are three species you are likely to see with little effort, though. The sensory loop trail is a great place to see the red-flowered firecracker penstemon. This is one of the first penstemons to bloom in the garden each year. When you see a red flower with a long tube, that means it's adapted to hummingbird pollination. So adding this species to your garden is a great way to attract hummingbirds. The most common penstem in the garden is showy penstemon, which can be found in huge numbers in the California habitat section of the garden. The flowers of this penstemon often have blues, pinks, and white in them. These are frequently visited by both bees and hummingbirds. One cool thing about showy penstemon is that the upper leaves are fused together and the stem goes right through the middle. Showy Penstemon is just starting to flower now, but I suspect it will be in peak bloom by late April or early May. Foothill Penstemon is a much smaller plant with very narrow leaves that can be found scattered around the Mesa Gardens. There are four different cultivars of the species in the garden, with flowers ranging in color from blue to purple to white. One of my favorite things about this species is how the flowers are yellow in bud and then change color as they mature. So those are the three easiest to find penstemons in the garden, but there are 11 more to see, and at least one of those has a bearded tongue. Come and explore the garden and see how many you can find. Also, check out our online store and see what penstemons are currently available in the Grow Native Nursery.